Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be an intuitive reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius signs. Let's see what the cards want to reveal. If the messages here do not resonate for you, please check your other signs for important insights, okay? Thank you, and let's begin. What is going on for Aquarius? We ask for insights and guidance, please. What do they need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, so we have the Knight of Cups energy. This is Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person wants to make an offer towards the Aquarius. We have the Tower, but wow, with the Tower, something came down. Something was revealed to you. A truth has also been exposed. There might have been a big argument or fight. Some type of falling out with you and this person. We have the magician. All right. So this is also Gemini and Virgo energy. And now they're reaching out. They want to communicate. This is somebody that wants to address some things. They feel like they haven't said the last word. There's something that they want to clear up. Aquarius. We have the King of Swords, but wow, look at the King of Swords energy. All right, you're not letting this person in. You're not very trusting right now, Aquarius. You feel like this person may have a different intention as to why they want to reach out and communicate with you again. Some of you don't really want to talk about the past here with the King of Swords. I'm getting this energy that you prefer not going back and rehashing the past, talking about things. You know, this person is really emotional at this time. I'm getting that there has been a wake-up call. There has been a breakthrough in consciousness, some emotions that they haven't dealt with in the past. Now it's it's surfacing and they have to confront these emotions. That's why this person is reaching out to you again. But you already dealt with some emotions here or all of um, the past baggage here, Aquarius. You already are in the King of Swords energy. You've completely det detached your emotions from the situation. And I'm getting that you're really seeing this in a rational point of view. You may have received news, message, or update from this person. It may not be frequent, but I'm getting that their intentions are starting to become very obvious to you. But like you said, you're not interested in discussing the past either. So you feel like just by bringing up what you both shared in the past that this may just keep you back in the loop, if that makes sense. Some of you also believe that it's hard to build something that has already come down with the magician. All right. Although it's possible, but you feel like it's very hard or somebody needs to work hard. If you are even to consider that, because you already are in the King of Swords energy. You're not very trusting. All right. You can already see through people's intentions. And some of you are also seeing that this is potential chaos or it might just be something very destructive. You want to know what this person's real motives are before you can even consider, you know. You want to know that they're really aware of their actions and their motivations behind this. You're really matured here with King of Swords. You really change here, Aquarius. The vibe that I'm picking up from you is transform, change, wiser, evolved. And to this person, it may, come, it may come across like this is a shocking change. Yeah, with a tower. All right. Somebody sees that you've changed so much. But of course, whatever the storm was that you faced with this person, you walked out of that storm as a different version of you. Okay. You know what they say? We change ourselves when the pain of staying, staying the same becomes greater than the pain of changing. So I, I'm getting that. This tower really forced you to grow and evolve and awaken. You're seeing something for what it is now. I'm also picking up this energy that you, you don't really think that you have any more to explain to this person. Because the King of Swords is not really the, the most emotionally expressive type. This is a man of few words or a woman of few words. Let's see, we have the Ten of Swords energy. There may have even been some betrayal that was involved here. Somebody may have lied to you, twisted the truth here. 
there was some type of manipulation with the magician right and i'm getting here that you don't, are not falling for the same things anymore a lie can can just take a minute to be told but the effects may be years or months that's why with the tower it took you a long time to build yourself back up and so this version of yourself now is somebody that you would rather be in you like the person that you're becoming you realize how perceptive you are now all right it may be intimidating to this person or you could come across as quite cold or snob or like dispassionate detached but there was a reason behind this evolution Let's see. So that's the Ten of Swords. The pain turned you into the person that you are now. More evolved, awakened, stronger. We have the Five of Wands. It may have involved third party or other people. Like I said, there was big fight, argument, or falling out here. This is also very competitive behavior. Like this person wants to have a fighting chance with you. There might be even a display of efforts. All right? Like somebody is trying to show you somebody is trying to trying their very hard here to show you that they may have also changed here aquarius but you think that this might just be them trying to manifest something in the background all right let's see we have the four of swords energy and the ten of coins bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles energy all right, so you're really assessing the situation here right now, Aquarius. I'm getting as well that you are not realizing it's very inevitable for you to change after everything that you've been through. And you, you're starting to outgrow certain things here. You expanded your horizon, you discovered something new, especially with the magician, your power, what you're fully capable of. You're, you're also simply just waiting for the right person to come in with four of wands. I'm getting that you want something new. You want to explore and just meet new people because it's going to be harder to build on something that has already come down, especially if there was deception or betrayal that was involved. Like you can forgive this person as a way to free yourself but things can no longer go back to how things were. You can try to rebuild with the tower, but the thing is, you have your doubts here, Aquarius. You feel like this person is still the same person that they were, all right? And the worst is, this, this could be the ego talking like, don't you see, I'm already changed. So that type of behavior, like, you really feel like this is too forced. It's not organic, it's not natural. Like somebody is trying too much, too hard. But the answer is already no here. You're not trying to be cold or anything, but you want to save yourself for something better. And you're trying to uh, protect your energy and your space from further being hurt, all right? That's why you have to, with the King of Swords, do what needs to be done here. I'm going to pull some Lover's Oracle cards here. It's like you guys have no, nothing else to say. It's this person that still has a lot of things that they want to tell you. A lot of emotions here. A lot of um, thoughts in their mind. You also really doubt that they are really, really prepared to go through what it would take for this connection to be rebuilt. You have your doubts because they didn't really make an effort to begin with to preserve, to protect and nurture this relationship. So you have your doubts that they would start doing something different now after everything that happened. All right, this card over here, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now's the time to give to yourself. So take this however resonates. I'm also getting here that they're still waiting for you. Even if you have already made it very clear 
in your actions and your words that you're not interested that you are focused right now with work with career with your community um, you're focused about the future here and you're working on yourself this person is still waiting for you Aquarius and this person really needs to take a step back on their own for now and deal with their emotions because I'm getting here they can't forget how you made them feel when all has been said and done they remember your kindness they remember the love that you've given them and the support that you've given them, Aquarius. So I'm getting now they're no longer part of your circle. This is somebody that is outside your circle of trust. Trust is really something very important with you. All right. It's clearly one of the most important things in creating a, a relationship, a foundation of trust. So with the Ten of Swords energy, I'm also picking this energy of playing the victim now. Just because you're not giving them a chance that this is not an automatic response like you're going to give them a chance, you know, just because they're saying they're trying their very best that to show you that they've changed doesn't mean that you have to run back to this person in a heartbeat. And because of that response from you, Aquarius, it, it feels like this is them now feeling the Ten of Swords energy. They feel defeated. They feel down. They feel betrayed. But I'm getting that. The tower is going to happen for them, a shocking rejection from you or a shocking revelation. Their pride and ego will be stripped away, but the tower will serve its purpose at the end of the day to really wake this person up, to reveal to them, all right, the cracks and just expose their heart's truest intentions here. They also need to ask themselves what are their motivations for wanting this. Because there's no guarantee that they won't go back to how things were. I don't see the death card energy here, which means that they really transform or change. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which means, Aquarius, that if you do decide to give this person a chance, it's like a gamble. It's like taking a risk with the Wheel of Fortune. You'll never know or you're never going to be certain what the outcome will be. Another message of this card is to be very aware of what karmic lessons persist in your life. What is seemingly going around in circle here, all right? Um, you want to forge in a new cycle. With the Eight of Swords, you want to free yourself. And now you have a razor-sharp mind and clear heart as well to do the right thing here. You're sticking to the facts. You're seeing things very clearly. And you're hoping that this person will respect your, your intentions here, your desires. Look at that. I'm, I'm really focused on the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She has something to offer, but there is the snake over here. All right. Deceptive energy. This could also be that their emotions are deceiving them right now, Aquarius. And we do have a retrograde. So all these emotions that have been unresolved are resurfacing and they might be mistaking it as a sign, you know, that they should go back to you. But they're not really sorting themselves out first. That's what I'm seeing here. You're here with King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, so that means you're clearly building something here for yourself. You feel a lot more stable in all areas of your life. Although you're not there quite yet, fully healed, but you have done major progress and improvement thus far. All right, they can't come with this kind of intention and energy because that means they're still carrying the baggage. And if they don't heal themselves, if they don't embrace self-love, and really face themselves here for their past actions. It's like they're just going to pass on this type of baggage to the next relationship. And that's why there's going to be a lot of tower moment over and over again. Until finally all has been taken away, you know. And pride and ego comes down. So real transformation can happen within. So that's what I'm saying for your reading Aquarius. I know it's a little bit of a heavy energy, but I hope this resonates even for just one of you. Thank you so much for watching till the end and supporting the channel. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.